So guys, welcome back to the CJR shop. And today we're going to be looking at a Stanley Fat Max bag that I use on a daily basis. Uh, I'm just going to go through a little bit about the bag and you know, I've had it for over a year now. I just want to let you know how it's held up over time and just show you a few of the tools that I use. So this is the bag in question. It's the Stanley Fat Max backpack. Um, I see a lot of technicians and electricians with these on, but I mean anyone can get one of these bags. So I'm going to have to film this moving because it's so hard to get everything in in one shot. So first I'm just going to say I've had this bag for over a year and um, all the zips work perfect. I mean I've got probably over 15 kilograms of tools in this bag and this strap is absolutely fine and so has the, uh, the straps on the back of uh, held up to the test of time so firstly I just want to show you so on the front here you've got a nice netted pocket I mean I just have a, a mask in there um, and some sleeving being an electrician by trade these are the things that I'm going to have but obviously if you're a different trade you're going to have different tools but generally it's the same so on the side here, you've got a pocket, and in there I just have some um, iron key set, which is just some tapes on here. This is quite nice. You've got a little a little Velcro strap here, which you can put the tapes on and off easily. Right, move them around to the other side. Just to show you these, you know, you can put your keys stuff on here and you could also put like a long a long screwdriver or something through there if you wanted to go between those two straps. Moving to the other side I have a hammer and a knocking screwdriver which I think everyone has a knocking screwdriver in their tool bag. That's just a cheap one which I use for uh, knocking and again I've got a Stanley hammer there and again this isn't a paid ad so I'm promoting these tools for nothing. This is my toolbox that I use on a daily basis. Anyway, moving to the back of the bag. So again, this bag's really comfortable to wear. This is this is all padded. This is really padded out in here. Um, and you've got the two straps to wear on the back. I mean, I tend not to wear this bag a lot because it's heavy. If you've got a few tools, that's fine. You know, a lot of people I see, they have a laptop in here and a few screwdrivers, that's fine, but I've got a lot of tools in here. But just, just want to show you the bottom of the bag. So this has got a real hard jawable base, which, you know, this is over a year old now and it's still, like, new. Anyway, so guys, moving on to the contents of the bag. On the front here, you've got a nice zip which is still working perfectly. And inside here, I just want to show you what I carry. Some eye dents. Electricians will know what they are for. PTFE tape. A small McAllister tape measure. And a pipe slice, 15 mil. Let's just have a quick route around. You've got a small bottle of WD-40 which is very handy. Everyone knows what that's for. What else is in here? A gland, a bit of sleeve in, probably some fuses, and bits and bobs. So anyway, that's that. I'm not gonna put any of this stuff back in because I'm just gonna do this and show you what's in here. Right, next, you've got two zips on the sides. Go all the way down. one-handed so it's not the bag's fault it's my fault so the only bugbear with this bag is this strap this front flaps down um, I mean Stanley have kindly put these side straps on which are meant to take the weight of this but they only fitted two inches of velcro strap whereas the velcro should have gone all the way up this strap so you could pull this tight but you can't so you just have to live with it like that Right, firstly, I'm going to just show you this. This centre tool tray comes out here. So if I just take that out, I'll just explain what I've got in here. It's 
move them. So firstly, you've got a nice tool tray here with a deep pocket. So I've just got a, a, you know, a small electrical tester, a Martindale and some PZ2 headed screwdriver bits. Um, a selection of you know, a couple of drill bits, some pens and pencils, a blade, which is a Stanley blade again, a pen tester, doing a um, quick check on voltages, a pen, a couple of stubby screwdrivers, which are really good, really handy, you know, only cheap, but they do the job. And a little Titan set, which I've done a review on, so check that video out. And some countersink bits, which are just cheap, but they're very handy. So next, I'll, you flap this over. I'll just show you, I've got some long nose pliers, What's that little fella doing out there? Long nose pliers, some snips, um, two of those taps, three and a half and a four mil. That's the general sizes that you know in the electrical trade you use. Some grips, some side cutters, some big chompers for big cables, um, pliers, and some little snips. I mean, all these tools are used. Look, look at this. I use all my tools and they, they stand the test of time. I'm just going to flip this bag round. Firstly going to show you the back side, which has got a rubber hammer. This is really handy for knocking trunkings on and stuff you don't want to mark, especially metal trunking. Um, this little screwdriver which I've cut down to, you know, you can knock wall plugs in with that and um, it's actually all the way through metal, so it gives you a good hold. Some old chisels. I'm not a carpenter, but you know, sometimes you use them. Definitely use my files all the time, the conduits, and a flat, round and a flat. And I've just got two uh, punches there, wixes I think, which were good. Next, I flap this over, and come to some screwdrivers. I mean, you could, you could put 30 screwdrivers in here if you wanted to, but you don't need that many. I mean, you do just need a couple of good terminals. Uh, you know, Phillips, PZ, Crosshead, whatever you want to call them. Some big flats, small flats. You know, that's sort of a poking one through plasterboard. Yeah, so that's a really good tool tray, and I'm really impressed with that. So moving on to the bag, um, I'm going to start with this pocket at the top here. This has a strap on it, but I don't use it. So in the top here, I've got a couple of sets of metal cutters, I think they're pro snip, which are made in the USA. don't know how genuine they are, but they're pretty good. I've got a cheap Amtec set there. I've got a, a set of electrical crimpers. And that's that pocket empty, but I mean, you could put some more tools in there if you wanted to, but you know, there's dirt and grit in there, because I use this bag. This isn't one of those tool reviews where the bag is brand new. This is standard the test of time. So in here, I've got a small set of these rods, which I think were from Maplims. Again, Amtec cheap, but they're good, you know. They're really handy to have in this bag. You're fishing cables through ceilings, floors. These, these help you out a lot. Next, I've got a setting tool for some rods. A small level, which comes in handy. Next, I've got a set of uh, Rothenberger cutters. These are actually plumbers, but for electrician, for cutting plastic conduits, trunkings, stuff, these are really good. They're not cheap, but they're so good. Um, these are really old. I've probably had these 10 years, and you know, they're really good. Right, that pocket is now empty. Um, so moving on to the bottom of the bag. Um, you have these two straps here which you can clip that that tool tray in. But I don't use that because I'm always taking this tray out to use the contents. So in here I've got a spare hacksaw blade which I don't keep in this bag, my big hacksaw, because it's in my big box with my drills. Uh, I have a pad saw. So if you're going to put a pad saw in here I recommend you get one with a case because this will rip this bag and wreck the bag. So that's why I keep this in this little holder. 
next I have a square um, you know you know what that's for so if you're watching this review you know what this is for um, next I have some ratchet spanners I mean these are really handy I think there's a couple of Halfords ones um, and some work zone ones which are Audi which are pretty good the only bug there is the center comes out of there I mean I've tried to punch it in a bit more but it still comes out so I've just taped them up so that is it that's the Stanley Fat Max tool bag um, if you like the video subscribe and like uh, give us a thumbs up and give us a comment um, I mean any videos you want to see you want to uh, talk about tools we can do that